Hi guys, welcome to Talent Sprint. I'm Rohit Agarwal and here's your daily dose of aptitude skills. In this session today, we are going to look at the simplest method to find the squares of numbers between 26 and 75. So if you are one of those guys who calculate squares on paper, then don't worry. At the end of this video, you'll find yourselves doing the same without paper in just about three seconds. So let's look at this simplest technique to get squares of numbers ranging from 26 to 75. Now before I actually explain you anything about it, let me tell you, you need to learn 1 to 25 squares by heart, right? Squares of numbers from 1 to 25 should be there on your fingertips for you to be able to calculate the other squares effectively. So assuming that you all are perfect with 1 to 25 squares, let's look at the method here. Let's say we have to calculate the square of 62, right? 62 square. Now a simple way of doing it would be as follows, right? We can break it as 60 plus 2, the whole square. So as you see, we are using a plus b whole square expansion, which is a squared plus 2ab plus b square. So that's a simple way of getting the answer. But our idea is to get the answer in a simplest way, right? It's not simple, but the simplest method that we are looking at. And since we are trying to find out the squares of numbers between 26 to 75, it would be ideal to break the number in terms of 50 plus x or 50 minus x. In this case, what happens? When you take 62, you may break it as 60 plus 2. If the number is 73, you may take it as 70 plus 3. For 47, you may say it is 40 plus 7. So you see that always there is a different value for a, right? But if you fix the base as 50, we can get the answers much faster and a simple manner. So what do we do? Instead of taking 60 plus 2, let's go ahead and expand it as 50 plus 12 whole square. Now what do we get here? a plus b whole square. So a squared plus 2ab plus b square. So a square here is 50 squared plus 2 into 50 into 12 plus 12 square, right? That's the a plus b whole square expansion. Now 50 square is 2500 plus 12 square is 144. And look at the 2ab part here. Since we fix our base as 50, 2 into 50 is 100 and 100 into 12 is going to be 1200. So the final answer here is 2500 plus 1200, that is 3700 plus 144, which is equal to 3844. So we can say that 62 square is equal to 3844. Now let's quickly look at how do we do it, you know, without writing anything on paper. See, understand, since we have fixed the first term as 50, the first term of expansion is always going to be 2500, right? So 2500 is fixed. Then whatever is B would be coming as B square in the third term. Now the second term is important here, right? We need not do 2 into 15 to 12 always. The simple point here is since B is 12, we'll get 1200 here, right? Because we are doing 2 into 50, 100, 100 into B. So whatever is B, that gets multiplied with 100, 100 B. Let's say if, here is, if we have 50 plus 13, then this will be 1300. If it is 50 plus 17, then this would be 1700. If it is 50 plus 22, then this is directly going to be 2200. So without putting anything on paper or without using the actual expansion, we can simply say that the answer here will be in terms of 2500 plus B in 200 plus B square. Let's take a few more examples to understand this. Uh, let's say we have to find out 73 squared. Now what do we do? 73 square. If you break it, we'll get 50 plus 23, the whole square. So first term is 2500 plus, since B is 23, the second term will be 2300. And the third term is B square, that is 23 square, which is 529. Now simply add these terms here to get the final answer. So 2500 plus 2300 is 4800 plus 529 is 5329. Let's, let's take one more example. Let's say we have to find out 44 square. What do we do? 44 square. This can be taken as 50 minus 6, the whole square. Now, the only difference here is instead of taking plus 600, we would take minus 600. The remaining uh, calculation uh, remains the same, right? The other part of the calculation remains the same. So, first term is 2500 minus 600 is 1900. 1900 plus 6 square is 36. So, the answer here is going to be 1936. So, as you can see through these examples, Finding out the squares of numbers between 26 to 75 is really very easy to do if we take the first term as 50. That is, always break the numbers as 50 plus x or 50 minus x whole square. I hope all of you have followed this simplest method to get the squares of numbers between 26 to 75. And I hope you will be using it in your calculation from the next time onwards. Our next video would be on how to get the squares of numbers from 76 to 125. But to do that, you need to click here to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.